Hi everyone, this is Diane from Owl's Treasures. So I thought I would share today my haul from Be Scented. I ordered the March Gold Box, the Gold Mystery Box that they have. I also ordered uh, Cinnamon and Balsam Fragrance Oil, uh, Lufas, Passion Fruit Nectarine Fragrance, Patchouli Fragrance. Um, for the rewards, based on how much you order, I got two ounces of Dead Sea Salt and two ounces of Kale and Clay. Things like that are always appreciated when you place an order with somebody. I ordered two sets of loofahs. These loofahs are 7 8 inches and there's 12 in each pack. They're a nice size. You can see there's small and large ones, but all very usable. So was very happy with that. I also ordered from them a custom wood soap mold. This is the two pound tall and skinny. I'm experimenting with soap sizes because I think I'm going to change my soap size. So I wanted this to be able to do some test batches with. The end comes off. As you see, it's right like that. So overall, very happy with that. It's very cute. And two pounds is a good size to test recipes and fragrances. So, more than happy with that. It will certainly fit my needs. Comes apart and goes together very easy, provided you're not being clumsy. That's what the bottom looks like. There's little feet. So, says handcrafted by Eric Ward, bscented.com. Very nice, very smooth, well made. Eric did a great job. So very happy with that. So this is the passion fruit nectarine. Has 0.2% vanillin. Flashpoint of 165. This is the patchouli, no vanillin, point, uh, flash point of 200. And last but not least, this is the cinnamon and balsam. This one has 0.12% vanillin, flash point of 173. I really like the smell of that. I smell more balsam than cinnamon. But I think that would be a good fragrance, especially for men. So I'm looking forward to trying that one. This is the patchouli. I really like this. I have, starting to show my age, but when I was... Uh, 17, I was gifted a very small bottle of true patchouli oil. Uh, I have always loved patchouli. Uh, I wore it sparingly. I am going to be 60 this year, and I still have 
probably a third of that bottle and I still love it today the same as I did back then so very happy with this hopefully it retains its fragrance in the soap we will see this is passion fruit nectarine which I was again looking forward to getting I really smell the passion fruit and not so much the nectarine. So again, we'll see what that turns out like in soap. When you are smelling fragrances out of the bottle, please remember it does not always smell that way in the soap. Uh, it can, but at times it will change and it will uh, smell a tad different when you make it and then it will or can smell a tad different after the soap is cured so always keep that in mind if you don't like a fragrance out of a bottle test it with a recipe you might like it after it's made with soap all right on to the fun thing i did open this just to make it quicker there were shreds in there. I always rebag these and then use it for my orders. It uh, saves it from going in the garbage. No need to throw it away. It's nice and clean. All right. So as I said, this is the gold box. I did get some more lemongrass botanical. I ordered January, I believe it was January, let's see. December, January, and I believe February's boxes also. I did get another lemongrass in one of those, so I was a little disappointed that I have already gotten one repeat, but I will say it's been the only one. Um, actually, I think I did get poppy seeds in another one. Anyway, there's two ounces of poppy seeds. I got two ounces of kale and clay. I got a bag of pipettes, which was greatly appreciated. 50 pieces. So, always very good to have those. I did receive as a gift one of the Georgetown soaps, Cherry Almond. Have not opened or used that yet. It's a four and a half ounce bar. Very nice. Looks like it might have poppy seeds in it. Let's see. Yes. Coconut oil, rice bran oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, castor, uh, oatmeal, kale and clay, fragrance, sodium lactate, mica, poppy seeds, and tussis silk. So looking forward to trying their soaps. I did get more loofahs, which I was excited about. And this month they started curing essential oils. As you see, I have not opened these yet. So we will discover together which ones I received. So I am excited about these. I do not only the fragrance soaps, but I do do natural soaps that I like to use uh, the essential oils for. So we will see what we have here. Their packaging has always been very good. Nothing has ever been smashed or broken. <clears throat> okay, so we have eucalyptus, 8082, very nice. We have lime essential oil, which I love adding lime to soaps. Uh, peppermint, very excited about that. I love peppermint. Peppermint, spearmint, I especially like combining those. Sweet orange. Lemongrass, that'll be good too. 
what I like to do with the dried lemongrass is uh, infuse it in oil uh, and then use the oil that way I like the properties it gives this is blood orange Litsia Kubeba. Not sure I have seen this. I have never used this one. Let's see. I do like that. So we will see how that is in soaps. I will have to read up on that oil. I like to read up on essential oils before I use them, see usage percentages, warnings, that kind of thing. This is cedarwood, which I love, and lemon, so that'll be perfect with the lime and the oranges. Well, I hope you enjoyed this small mini haul, and I will see what kind of soaps I can come up with in the next couple months for this. Like I said, I, I started with December, I believe it was, and have gotten a mystery box every month. Uh, I will say I was a little excited in opening them, so I did not film any of that, but I will try and film any in the future for me, for you, so you can see what we got. So I'm excited. I have quite a few fragrances from Bee Scented now to try and experiment with. If you like this video and like to see more, please hit the subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends. Hit the little bell for notifications. And other than that, have a good day.